Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another video. Um, if you're new to the channel, thank you for tuning in uh, and subscribing. For those of you who have subscribed for quite some time now, thank you for um, being so loyal uh, to our channel. If you missed last week's video, we did a workout up Skiff Mountain and uh, it was a VO2 max effort workout. Uh, today, what we're going to do is go back up to the peaceful, tranquil uh, Skiff Mountain and pretty much do another workout except we're doing the south side of Skiff where the climb is uh, a little over three miles long and so because of that um, we are going to be doing a sub threshold effort and that is two by 25 minutes um, keeping it whatever sub threshold zone so yeah we're gonna get started and uh, got the the bikes up uh, racked up in the car and we're gonna head out
top. Okay, um, just got done with the workout. Uh, it was uh, pretty hard, um, but got it done. My first target power I was able to meet, um, it was 178 was my target. And so my target power was uh, 178 and I was able to, um, I got that done. Um, the first interval was 184. Um, was able to recover and then the second time around um, it was a little harder my, my legs were starting to feel tired and so my average power I believe was 174 so it was within the range I was bummed that I didn't get to hit the target the second time around but you know just shows you that there's still work that needs to be done and um, you know can't stop there and uh, just so everybody knows, I did an FTP test, a RAM test, a couple of weeks ago. And so because of that, all my power zones have been shifted upwards. So um, what used to be my threshold is now my sub-threshold. So I guess that's one thing that I have to keep in mind that this was, this would have been a threshold uh, workout for 15 minutes and I was able to get it done and it was now it's my new sub-threshold zone. So pretty happy with that. A um, couple of things. Well, one uh, one thing is that um, I I had this issue last ride where my shorts, um, the inner thigh of it, tore. And so this is my second pair of bike shorts, which is a bummer because you know, as you guys know, bike shorts are not cheap. And uh, the first one were Rafa, um, and they were the Suplus style. And so um, I thought it was because of it was a thinner material that it I, pretty much I got um, a tear on it and it's basically this part of the saddle where my inner thigh kind of rubs up against um, that is what's causing um, the friction on my bike shorts and that friction is I guess thinning and wearing away the fabric uh, I just got these shorts there by Gore and now I have a, a, a tear in them and which is really frustrating. Um, another thing is I got new sunglasses. Um, they're Roka's. They're, they're a little bit on the larger side and I, I don't know, you tell me how you like them. It's super big but the reason why I got this style is because uh, there's more coverage and on windy days or when going downhill I could actually see where I'm going so that wind doesn't get into um, the top sides and the top part and the sides so today when I was going downhill skiff um, I thought it was super uh, it helped me to see uh, in the shadows underneath the trees so um, the really good visibility for that and when I was able to turn around to check if there was a car behind me um, it didn't like shift it at all like my or my former glasses the Tifosis it would do that the only downside is I'm still and the reason why I got new glasses is because of this problem that I have is when it, it keeps sliding down and I still am having that issue I mean supposedly they have these gecko they call it the company calls it gecko grip uh, on the nose pads and I switched out the nose pads but I still am having that problem where it slides down my face a little bit um, so I don't know if I have to keep experimenting on those gecko pads to see which one works the best for me so I know it's kind of whenever I look at myself in the camera um, it's kind of silly to look at because these things are huge um, but for the purpose of just being able to ride into the wind and um, not having it move around and get like gunk like debris also like sand in my eyes and um and with the wind it dries out my eyes and i get it gets all watery and so this is why i got it so anyway um that was a little bit long drawn out more than i wanted it to be but uh yeah so got the workout done and um yeah i'm just gonna change out because i have you know my holy shorts and uh yeah, and then we're going to get going.